Hello guys, welcome back to Hipster. In the previous video, we had seen how to make a simple list view item using an array adapter and adding items that we need in it to the list that we had created. Okay, if you have not seen the Okay, if you have not seen my previous video, I recommend you to first see that and if you are comfortable, watch this video without any hesitation. So let us begin quickly. In this video, we are going to take an edit text and put these values or put the values that are in the edit text to the string here. For that, let us quickly make changes to the XML file. Here we will add an edit text. Match parent and wrap content. Let us give it an ID as et name and give it a hint as name. Now let us take a button wrap content wrap content and ID as button add. Give that button a text now as add and bring that button in the center by layout gravity as center so now the button is in the center and we have the edit text and the button here let's go to main activity and here let us instantiate the button and the edit text edit text edit text button add is equal to button and find view by id r dot id dot button add doing the same thing for the edit text casting it into edit text and using find view view by id and that was edit text name so guys there is a pretty shortcut by which you can rearrange all the lines in android studio that is by ctrl alt plus l now let us set up an on click listener for the button button dot set on click listener new on click listener and here what we would do is first of all we would change this list into array list and give it an generic type of string what we would do is we will remove all these things because we don't need them now and take these things and put it up here now now we need a string value or a box to store the value of the string that was present or that we would write in the edit text so now giving this string a variable as names and taking the value of this string by edit text by doing edit text dot get text and changing it to string value. Now we have the name and the string value into it. So let us now add that to the list dot add name now this being done we will add that list view or set the adapter in the list view now here it is showing us a error that is variable array adapter is accessed from within inner class so what we need to do is we need to make this global so we'll take this and put it up here and let's take the variable and put it right back on its place if you are not understanding what is being done here just wait and watch the video till the end i will explain everything in great detail so after this we need to tell the, to the adapter that the data set has been changed for that we say notify data set changed and now let us quickly run the app and check whether it works or not so when we type anything like palino it is added here if we type ferrari 
let us check you can see the names and or the items are adding in the list view Lambo and Tesla we can also add Rimac the last two are electric vehicle companies so you have seen that how to add these now let's see what is happening here so you have a list view a button and an edit text this is the list view this is the button and this is the edit text here you are using an array list to store the values that you are getting from the edit text here list is equal to new array list is a way of giving memory to the object list and now you are adding that list to the array adapter what array adapter does is it just makes new rows for the items to add up add up and add up so here you have added that list of array or the array of the list of the values string values that were present in the edit text whenever you click the button and you take the edit text and you save it in names then you add that names to the array list and then you set up the array adapter to the list view and here you set up the array adapter to the list view and and the array adapter contains the list and the type the way in which they have to show the list and in the end you just notify to refresh every time whenever you click the button the list needs to be refreshed to show the latest items in the list view so this was it for this video in the next video we will see how to remove the items from the list view thank you so much and hope to see you again.